Hi guys, followers of mine, beautiful people of this earth. I want to wanted to make a video on my journey, um, you know, with from drug addiction to having this ayahuasca experience um, to present day. It's now been a year and about a week um, since my first ayahuasca experience. And I guess I just wanted to make this video to show that it is possible to get clean and it is possible to have transformative experiences, positive transformative experiences from psychedelic states. Um, there's people on the internet today um, that have major influence, um, say on YouTube, and that have taken um, ayahuasca or other psychedelic substances and they're they were pushed into hypomanic states uh, mania drug-induced psychosis and people see that and people uh, they see right through these people it's it's not hard to and I I guess I just want to state um, that with going through a psychedelic experience, it is extremely important to have proper integration afterwards. Uh, I fear if I didn't have a proper integration practice like I do today, I probably would have lost my mind. I don't know, but um, I know after the ayahuasca I was having uh, similar to hypomanic um, states. I definitely wasn't hypomanic, but I can understand what, how someone could get to that point um, based off of my experience. And um, so, you know, psychedelics, like we've said in the podcast, aren't neither good nor bad. They're just tools. And what we do with that, the experiences that we encounter on these substances is really up to us and so the picture on the screen right now is me uh, three days after my first ayahuasca experience now prior to my ayahuasca experience I was using drugs heavily um, daily for a long time and I had an addiction for 10 years um, Miraculously, I have this ayahuasca experience and don't touch heroin again after my experience um, for about four months. And when I had this ayahuasca experience, I was on a high dose of methadone, 120 milligrams. You know, so I'm still taking the methadone, but I'm stopping the heroin immediately after the ayahuasca experience. Fast forward three and a half, four months, I'm a, I go from 120 milligrams after the experience down to one milligram. And when I got to one milligram is when I, uh, when I slipped up and I started using the heroin again. The uh, physical withdrawal and the mental withdrawal was just too much to, to deal with. Luckily, I had support around me, family and friends. Um, that truly wanted to see me succeed so I got into a rehab facility where I was not around any drugs and I got off the methadone cold turkey I was there for seven days and I have not touched opiates since I have not touched heroin or methadone and if it wasn't for the perspective that I got from the ayahuasca there's I I wouldn't be here right now talking to you so that but that's really what it was it was a perspective shift it wasn't a, uh, a cure-all or a fix-all it was just a moment of perspective that I could not have gotten without it so in my life it is a miracle but I mean what are miracles miracles are what we make of them and in that moment when I was on the ayahuasca I knew the potential and possibility that I could have 
in life and influence that I could have. And that is actually what scares me the most, is how much influence and uh, potential that I can achieve. So, luckily with this um, integration practice that I have, that my brother and I and our good friend have developed, um, I'm able to stay grounded and I'm able to have perspective each week. I don't take psychedelics each, each week. I've only taken ayahuasca twice and they were both within a month of each other. And I had a psilocybin experience um, in April. But other than that, I haven't haven't really done any um, psychedelics. But this pro this integration technique that we've developed ourselves is almost just mirac just as miraculous as the ayahuasca was to me. Um, because without it, I don't think I would be clean, and I don't think I would be here today speaking to you. So. Yeah, so you saw that picture of three days after the ayahuasca. You can tell by this picture that I've seen something grandiose or something miraculous. Um, but like I said, without a proper integration, I don't think I would be able to... I don't think I would be here. I think I would have lost all of that um, perspective that I had once that I had gained from the ayahuasca in the first place. So there's this this picture of me three days after and then a picture of me today. <sighs> Anyways, um, don't let other people's experience experiences of psychedelics influence you in a major way. I mean, do proper research. Um, reach out to the people that are really making a change. Like myself and my brother and we're you know I see and light people people throw the term enlightenment around all the time well to me enlightenment doesn't mean that you're in a nirvana like state or you're in a happiness all the time like state no I think enlightenment is being content with the fact that there is there are ups and downs, there's good and bad, there's happiness and sadness. That's the dif most difficult thing to accept. For me, it was the most difficult thing to accept. But over this past year, I've been able to, with this integration technique, I've been able to accept things that I cannot control. That's the most difficult thing for me, is to accept things that I cannot control. And step one was lowering my expectations of myself and everyone around me. These, these the things I'm saying are, are, you know, easy to conceptualize or easy to, like, believe, I guess, but to really, to really integrate that and really, truly be okay with, with that is a whole other story, and it takes a lot of work. Um... So, I just wanted to share this, you know, kind of nervous talking to the camera, not something I'm used to, but uh, I mean well, and the psychedelic revolution is a real, is a real reality. I just worry that without the right structure and integration, it's going to, it could have a net, it could, has the potential to have a very negative effect on a lot of people. So reach out to me. Reach out to me. Reach out to my brother, Cultivating Connections at gmail.com. At Cultivating Connections VT at gmail.com. And I'd love to collaborate with some other influencers.